Hey everybody, Austin back again with another Let's Play video. Uh, it's gonna be X Japan Virtual Shock. And uh, I've actually got my brother here, Brandon. And he's actually gonna be taking us through this game. I am not going to be playing it this time. Uh, because I haven't really even played this game. <laughs> uh, Brandon is uh, a big fan of X Japan. He's also a big fan of a lot of Japanese rock and metal. And, um, you know, I told him one day that I, I saw this game on eBay. You know, there's a Saturn game import based on X Japan. And uh, we basically went to YouTube, checked out some video footage, and we were like, oh, that's cool. And checked eBay for prices and went ahead and snagged one. So uh, it took about a month for the for the game to get here. We just mm -hmm. snail mailed it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it took about a month to get here, but it came. And uh, Brandon's been hijacking my Sega Saturn for the last couple of days, <laughs> uh, attempting to make it through the game. Um, X Japan Virtual Shock, it's a game that revolves around the band, obviously. Um, which I don't, I don't really think they had a huge following outside of Japan. But uh, this is basically a full motion video game. Very reminiscent of stuff on the Sega CD, some of the full motion video titles and the 3DO, stuff like that. Um, I mean, this is really a Sega CD style full motion video game all the way. And the really quality uh, too. Yeah, the video quality is not bad. It's a little grainy, like you can see right here. The graininess is probably going to be tough to see in the video because of how, you know, YouTube kind of, or just video compression works. Everything's just kind of smooth and blurred out a little bit. So the video, uh, might, video quality might actually look better uh, on this video than it actually does seeing it in person. Um, I can see a lot of like grainy defects and stuff that make it really look like a Sega CD game. Um, I guess whatever compression they used was probably not that great. I think the video quality actually could have been better. Uh, I've seen some Saturn games with just like Solar Eclipse, for instance, has amazing looking mm -hmm. video. And that was a very early Saturn game. That came out the first year the Saturn was out in uh, America. So let's go ahead and just sit here at the title screen. Let's not jump in quite yet. Um, because once we hit start, that basically just throws us right in. Right, yeah, Brandon? it does. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, do you have anything you'd like to talk about before we actually jump into the game? Uh, maybe give a synopsis of what it's about or... Um, I can just explain all that as we're going into the game. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hit start and get into it. And again, like I said, I've never played this game, so I'm just kind of watch. I've, I've been watching Brandon play it. Okay. But the goal is, is you basically, from what I can tell from watching you play, is this guy gives you a camera, you've got to take good shots of the band, mm. and it's set up in kind of like a lunacy or seventh guest sort of manner where you navigate like hallways and stuff and you go to doors and if you go to the wrong door you might get kicked out by a guard and get a game over or something like that uh so here he is he's actually moving around in the game now operating main office and with how the game is set up you're actually going to oh oh you had to pick up some film first mm. okay so basically how the game operates, you get items, you have to have certain items to get into certain rooms. You uh, have to talk to these people. Uh, some of these guys basically act as like gatekeepers. Like you can't get past <laughs> them without the right item. And what's funny about these gatekeepers is that they say the exact same thing every time you get to them. Uh, which I guess makes sense because this is only a one disc game. Well, like this guy, we're gonna. He's gonna say his spiel a lot. Yeah. So, good morning, be my, prepared. Well, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Can I see your pass? Oh, I see you, a cameraman. Oh, yes. Come right in. Oh wait, no, he just denied you, didn't he? Oh, he gave you the stop. Did you see how? Did you see how he put his hand out? I'm like no. I'm like no. You, you can't not. come in. I forgot. I'm used to you actually having the right item and passing him. <laughs> um, because Brandon's actually, like I said, been playing it the last couple of days, and he's been playing it with the sound up while I was in the other room working on my pinball machines, and uh, so I've I've heard a lot of the uh, what the what the people say in this game. Um, I do like how the video is full screen. Um, a lot of games that relied on full motion video were not full screen. 
uh, back in the day. Uh, so what, you got a camera lens? Mm -hmm. I wonder why they didn't just give that to you when you came into the whole thing. <laughs> Um, one other thing that's really interesting in this game is that pretty much almost everything is in English Except for a few instances like that guy was just speaking Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the majority of the game is in English, which I found to be really fascinating because this is a Japanese only game revolving around a Jap mostly Japanese only band I mean, I'm sure they play outside of Japan every now and then but I know in America I don't think they really ever had a huge following um I'm gonna have to research it because I don't know. I think we were, you and I were talking about that the other day, kind of speculating what their popularity was like over here, mm -hmm. the the band X Japan. But uh, I just find it interesting that you've got like these white dudes and like English speakers playing the game or in the game. I'm sorry. I think you should talk to the production staff. See ya. Oh yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> just walking off like that. Yeah, don't come back. <laughs> or I'll sick my maids on you. <laughs> I have no idea. That was it's a good, bad joke. It's like a big, <laughs> it's like a big puddle of goop that was on the floor there. <laughs> I mean, did you see that on the, on the floor? Like a big puddle. Of I did not. I think you pointed it out the other night. But what does this guy say? You mean you're one of those cameramen, right? I don't think I remember him talking. Okay. Oh yeah. Hmm. <laughs> So what are business looking people doing here? That, that's one question I did pose to you yesterday. Is why are all these people dressed up in suits and it's like a rock concert, you know? Well, uh, that's part of like how, uh, like when you're a rock star, you have high business management making sure that the band goes on stage on time, gets where they had to be on time because, you know, it's like all business by that point. And the band's basically has to get up and just play <laughs> make sure they're oh hello the yeah it's you it's you again good morning sir can i see your pass please may i see your badge please ah i see you a cameraman please come right in and you're going to say that like 30 times over the course of this entire <laughs> game they couldn't uh, obviously couldn't have fit uh, extra footage onto the cd i'm going to assume that was the reasoning um instead of recording extra clips where he says something slightly different or something to mix it up. It is just a one disc game. And as you can see, everything's full screen. So, I mean, this video is obviously taking up a lot of space on the, the the CD. Actually, what I want to do afterwards when we're done, Brandon, is actually take the disc out, pop it in my computer, and I'm going to see how much uh, space is actually being used up. I have a feeling it's probably probably maxed out. In this game, we can go to the band members' rooms. Right now we're in uh, Pato's room. He plays. He's he's one of the guitar players in extra Japan. You can see his. He's got his one of his uh, Les Pauls over there. Yeah, the on the right. Yeah, he's got you know you kind of check around and you know that's... snoop around. Feel like you're stalking the band. Ooh. Oh, you can. Oh, that's cool. You can look at it. Gibson, how about that? Do you have any Gibson guitars? No, but um. Dan used to have a, a Gibson. Yeah, he used to rock the Gibson, didn't he? Well, he has a uh, Gibson Flying V, but now he has a... Um... But he used to have a Gibson Les Paul. Okay. Yeah. It's so, like that one was. I had a friend uh, a while back, you know, I'm talking like five, six, seven years ago, that was uh, going to try to sell me one of his Gibsons. It was, it was kind of just like that one, but it was black with like gold trim or something. It looks pretty cool. I kind of wish I bought it. It would be a lot better than my Squire Stratocaster. <laughs> Squire Strat. So, whose room are we in again? Uh, this is uh, Toshu. Toshu. Uh, He's lead a lead singer. singer, yeah. He's got mm -hmm. an acoustic. That's his acoustic. Let's head on. Ooh, back. look at those old Ooh. television sets. Look at that! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're talking like 1995, 96 here. <laughs> look at that quality telephone. <laughs> they have uh, really funny quotes, like in like right now they just say "make him stand by." It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> make him stand by, yeah. <laughs> but so you know, 
It's a really fun game to play, you know. It's just, I mean, I, th I think it's, it's I don't know if this is the game. kind of game I would like recommend to anybody, except like fans of the band, and which that's really the only reason why we have it. Yeah, I never would have bothered to look into it because uh, I didn't even know who X Japan was until you started listening to them, mm -hmm. you know, and. Um, But I think for fans of the band, I think it's kind of a cool little experiment, so to say. I mean, and there's actually, once you get, uh, I guess the goal is to take photographs of the band members, and you have to take, what, like, four photos of each member? Ah, uh, five. So you get 25 reels, because there's five members in the band? Uh, you get, uh, 30. Oh, you get 30? Yeah. Ten for Yoshiki. So here, here we are. Who is this? Uh, Toshi. This is Toshi. Yeah. And you're gonna get a picture when he gives you the the peace sign. <laughs> Take a bunch of crap shots here. <laughs> right, we don't want to get a game over. <laughs> oh no, we won't get a game. We are going to beat this game, guys. Look at that. Look, look, look. He looks content, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's at peace. Or maybe he's just thinking to himself, God, this show's gonna suck. God, <laughs> what am I doing here? I just... Or he's probably like, man, this is gonna... Give me, give me my, my hookers and blow, please. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting one step closer to that ultimate goal. He's smiling now about it. <laughs> that is a big arena. That's a very big arena. And this arena. is about... We're almost getting to the part where he gives you the peace sign. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Good picture, man. Good picture. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so what year did this game come out? Wow, it was 1995. <laughs> What's your favorite game that came out in 95? Favorite game that came out in 95? Um... Was she speaking English? No, uh, Japanese. No. Of course, they make the Japanese speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Why not give that fat dude in front of the elevator? Why, why, why not make him speak Japanese? He probably doesn't know Japanese. <laughs> What's he... I don't know. <laughs> it's random, I don't know. <laughs> now we're going to get to uh, Mr. Bipolar Man soon. Mr. Bipolar Man? Yeah, you know, he'll make his decision... Like he won't let us through, then he will make then he will let us through, then he won't let us through. It's like But then again this game is triggered based off of um, what items you have. What and... items you have, like what your next destination is, etc. etc. This looks like a real exciting experience though, just walking through these hallways about as slowly as you can. Ah uh, yeah, dude. This is like the greatest experience ever. It's just slowly <laughs> as again. Look, look, look. How many steps does it take? Yes. Oh, he just let you in. He just lets me in. There's one where he's like, no, no. <laughs> he like pushes out both hands like... Like you're trying to break into his house or something. No, no, <laughs> no, no, please. <laughs> it would be cool if there was a way... Yeah, and just to let you guys know, Brandon was not controlling that speed up. I think it would have been really cool to be able to, uh, to do that. Just speed up at your own will. So, what band member is this? Oh, this is Pata. Pata, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is where they, they fast forward to like flashbacks of like another show or something. Like, there he is playing. So, obviously, he's a guitarist. <laughs> How many guitarists did the band have? Two? I'm Two. guessing? Yeah. Hyde and Pato. Mm -hmm. Which one was the bassist? Uh, Heath. Heath, that's well, right. Well, uh, Heath is their second bass player. Uh, Taiji Sawada was their, their original bassist, and he quit. Then Heath joined, I think... Uh, Why did he quit? Not enough hookers and blow? Uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I guess. Or maybe too much. Or maybe he just... Wanted to go in a different direction. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, so where do we go from here? 
Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, got, I got lost for a second. <laughs> I'm trying to think. All I'd right. get lost in these hallways, to be honest. Alright, so now we're going to... Reattempt to come through here. He's gonna push us back. No, no, <laughs> no. Hey, there's no way. You can't just do rehearsal. No way. No way, my ass. Let me through, damn it. <laughs> nice glasses, by the way. <laughs> Actually, the thing about this game is that there's supposed to be a certain order you're supposed to do the band members, but I'm doing this in the shortest time to get through the game. Okay. So it's not based off of the exact order. I mean, you could do the game in any order. But... So you could theoretically do any band member in any order? Yeah. Okay, I thought there was like a very specific order you went through, kind of like playing double switch or something back in the day. And no, as long as um, uh, you, get, you gotta go to the person... Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah. May I see your badge, please? Ah, you have cameraman. Come on in. Do you have any donuts, by the way? I would really like some donuts right now. Look at this nice elevator. I'm gonna keep staring into it. Have a nice day. <laughs> We're making fun of everyone in this game. That's not cool. Because it's like actual people. <laughs> there should be like a TV series. Like, where are they now? <laughs> X-Stars of video games. <laughs> I know, like, watch this game. Um, I want to know where all like the really bad full motion video game actors are these days. Like this guy that's obviously on a blue a green screen or something. Could you take this? Because he's not meshing into the background at all. Thank you. Thanks. Sweet jacket. Can I get one of those? No. You know, I'm gonna look at me. What the hell, man! I feel ripped off. <laughs> I want my money back. Heath's room. Konnichiwa. He was speaking Japanese, right? Yeah. Some of them speak English and some of them don't. Um, I mean, the Japanese parts, it's kind of, it's not too hard to figure things out, right? I mean, you managed to make your way through the game in about two nights. Uh, you beat it your second night, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, also, um, there's certain parts in the game that are almost kind of like multiple choice paths, depending on how you, depending on how you play the game, will dictate whether you get a game over, and that will also dictate whether or not you're allowed to progress on the game. You could easily, I don't think you could complete the game. I, well, I, I know, I know. Um, if you don't take pictures of all the band members, you can't get to the... Like, you can't uh, unlock the next event. Okay. So you can't really... The next event, is that like the make my video part? And then you just beat the game after that? Uh, after, well, after that is the uh, last uh, photo shoot. Oh, you had to do another photo shoot. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to come yeah. through here to take pictures of the bass player, uh, Heath. Hurrah! May I come for a praise? Talking about Mr. Heap? Huh? Water, sir? Okay, come on in. Was he like water, sir? <laughs> I actually I don't have any headphones on, so I can't hear anything these people are saying. Um, but Brand has done this so much, I kind of have an idea of what he's doing. Like that was that was the part where he said water, sir. Hmm. Okay. Dude, that's gotta be a... You go really fast and then it slows <laughs> down for a second. That is a pretty cool rig, I have to say. This was mid-90s, too. 1994. December 31st. I, I have this uh, live DVD, too. Yeah, this is basically the same footage that was used in a live DVD, right? Yeah. The Tokyo Dome uh, two-day concert one. Okay. I have this one, too. That's uh, scars of their 
warming up on. I can play that song. It's, it's a fun song to play. It's a big ass stage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna go to the man himself. <laughs> Hide. Yeah. Yeah, Hyde is pretty much the only one I've really read up on or anything, because uh, Brandon's actually talked to, uh, not talked to, but you know, you pretty much followed all these guys as like solo projects and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so that got me into Zilch, which was Hyde's sort of last solo project mm -hmm. before he uh, died. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I listened to Zilch, and I have both their CDs, but... I haven't really followed any of the other band members or anything. Is this the one where he like he throws everything across the room or something? <laughs> no, that's if you give him the wrong drink. Oh, that's if you give him the wrong drink. We're gonna give him the right drink though. Yeah, because <laughs> we want to complete the game. <laughs> no, no, no. What we could do, we could do a, a another video, um, some other time showing what it's like if you make the wrong decisions. <laughs> then you'll see him launch. Do like an outtake sort of thing or. <laughs> Then you'll see him launch like the mirror going across like the room and he'll smash his face. <laughs> How far back do we have to go if you get a game over? Well, uh, when you get a game over, you start where you basically start back where you get a game over at, but you, you just... but you can't um, re-fix your mistakes. Oh, yeah. oh, so we want to do the right thing then. Yeah. So what does he like to drink? Wait, what the hell? I thought you were supposed to let us in, damn it. Well, you gotta get a confirmation first from them. So basically, they, uh, you, you, uh, you're basically a gopher, like a cameraman gopher. They, the uh, the band members, uh, their roadies will basically tell you what they want. You go and run and get it for them. Mm. And if it's right, then they'll let you go in the room and take pictures of them. Or because they're lazy bastards. <laughs> they don't want to do it themselves, so they're making the camera guy of all people do it. What would you like to drink? Oh, look at that, potato sticks. I'll take some potato sticks. And Japanese sake. Look, they got Snickers there too. So you have, if you give Hyde the wild turkey, he will launch the mirror across the room. And, <laughs> and, and, and like he'll kick you out and you get a game over. Give him the wine. You'll still get a game over. <laughs> he wants the sake? The sake. Okay. He will give you some sake if you give him the sake. Hello, would you like to have a shot with me? You look happy. <laughs> Catering room. It was just like a small table. <laughs> you could have just like left it out in the hallway. I mean, did you really need a whole room just for that? <laughs> Why, thank you. A hard working cameraman. See, so given the wild turkey, the mirror that is in the room, he would be like, ah! <laughs> 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 it's like, damn. So like, we'll do, uh, we'll do, an, uh, and I'll take one and see that's actually. Well, pretty. you can actually see those on YouTube, right? I thought you showed me that on YouTube or something. Yeah, but you gotta do like a lot of searching on YouTube for that. Yeah. Or, you know. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Is is the part where he's getting angry? Is that on the DVD? The live oh, show no, DVD. No, no, it's no, not. No, no, it's not. Okay. I think uh, I think some of those YouTube clips is actually taken from from the game. From the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so we got we took all of our pictures. Now we are going to the massage room. No one, no one will let you in. Can you ever get into the massage room? Um, You've never been in. Yoshiki, he's the drummer, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, you 
can't come in. He has a meeting right now. Now, she says that, you know, there's a meeting happening. I never actually f figured out how to get to the meeting. So we're just going to go to the press room, hand up the guy our pictures, and finish up the rest of the game. Okay. Yeah. If anybody online could play this game <laughs> and get into the massage room and figure out where the meeting room is... Post a comment below. Yeah, post a Let comment us know. below. Let us know. <clears throat> <laughs> so what stadium is this? Uh, the Tokyo Dome. Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, the Didn't Dam Dream Theater play in the Tokyo Dome? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Tokyo Dome, yeah. Yeah, they, they played... Um, Dream Theater played in the Tokyo Dome of... I know almost every big band has. <laughs> you right. know what? It would be surreal to, like, make it big <laughs> and play at the Tokyo Dome and be walking through the same hallways you played in the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know where the elevator is. I have never even been here. <laughs> is he giving us the thumbs up? Oh, good. Great. Good job. I'm feeling a little out of place. I should be in Europe promoting somebody right now. <laughs> but good job. Get more photographs. <laughs> and they weren't that girl. Well, I, mean, I, I, I guess they're good photos. So, hey, you got uh, Toshi's peace sign. There you go. I mean, baby. that's some serious skill right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now what we're going to do is that we're going to do the video edit thing. That's like the live live concert thing. That's that's happening. So, okay. Uh-oh. Hello, sir. Good morning. May I see your badge, please? Morning, no, you may not. Ask, I'm going to just walk through here anyway. Please come in. With your god damn it. <laughs> He's such a nice gentleman. How can I be angry at someone so kind to me? <laughs> that's, that's true. Alright, here is. This part's a little. No! Oh, I'm falling into a void! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Holy crap, what just happened? <laughs> so this is basically where video footage comes up and <laughs> you piece it together and... <laughs> what the heck? Peace, man. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta figure out how... how the, there we go, I got a supplier. Alright, that's how you get the logo up. <clears throat> now we're going...
Yeah, it looks cool. Ooh, got the kick. It's got the rock star kick. That's like when you kick the mirror. <laughs> when you launch a mirror across the room, it's like, wah! <laughs> that is going to be nice. Alright, so we got all the pictures taken. Or well, not the pictures taken, but right now we're going to go back to floor two, which we already own. Now we're going to go into Yoshiki's room. We have the last film of uh, ten pictures to take. Now we're going to take pictures of Yoshiki. Ten pictures. When everyone else only got five, he gets ten. In this bright white room. Yeah, it's like you walk into a house, you know, it's, it's nice. like, is this really in the stadium? I somehow doubt it. <laughs> yeah, you see through the window. Maybe this is Yoshiki's house. <laughs> you just walked into Yoshiki's house. Now, I think that's actually what, uh... I mean, uh, you know, Axel Rose in Guns N' Roses... He would always bring his bed and piano, and underneath the uh, stage where Guns N' Roses would hold their concerts, Axel would always, always bring, like, all of his home belongings. Hmm. God, that's how he dig it. Oh no, he's gonna fall over and get an ambulance! Oh no, he's he's okay. He's just doing his poltergeist kind of thing. These guys really get into it in a very unique kind of way. Oh, dude, it's awesome. <laughs> and that's uh, him doing his drum solo in the... Uh, which is actually really, really sick. Which is something you're probably gonna have to watch later on. Oh, just look at that. Jeez, man. And this was in the mid-90s, too. This wasn't like... Now. Like, remember when we saw Rammstein? They did some stuff kind of like that? Mm -hmm. But with like, that whole, like, globe that just opens from around his set. It was pretty crazy. Don't... Don't do it! No! <laughs> oh, there's videos of him drum diving. Like, he'll actually get off his drum kit, and he will go full-on Mach 10 into his drum kit. And he'll actually jump into his drum kit. And... No, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. That just sounds crazy thinking of thinking about well, it. Uh, Ginger Fish from Marilyn Manson um, did that a couple of times. Where he would jump over his drum kit, or sometimes Manson would pick up like Ginger Fish's um, symbol and throw it at him, or because <laughs> because Manson would go and wreck, like terrorize his own band members. Dude, he threw a water bottle at John Five one time. <laughs> Dude, where's the, the 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 gentleman that was helping us earlier? Or are we on a different floor? Oh, uh, we're uh, going back down to floor one right now. Mm. And then he'll be standing there. Must be an exciting life. If I ever did a world tour, I'd make sure I bring like a game system or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep time occupied. You should bring a Dreamcast. Or you could bring a Sega Saturn and play this game. You could. <laughs> Be like, all right, guys, we're going to the Tokyo Dome. Let's, <laughs> let's play this game and get the blueprints in our head. And we'll know exactly where it... <laughs> Wouldn't it be jacked up if, like... You say what? You say what? You're a cameraman? Yes. You got permission? No. Huh. I don't see your armband. No. No. You can't come in here. No. No. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> what? Jeez, man. This is like so bad, it's kind of good. It's so bad, it's good sort of thing. <laughs> so how close are we to uh, completing this amazing, wonderful experience? Actually, right now, almost. You pretty much? Looks like a big pile of goop on the floor there. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Sega Saturn presents.
See, guys, the Sega Saturn was actually popular in Japan. <laughs> There's people back there, too. Not America, unfortunately, which is sad. Saturn apparently did horribly in America. You know, uh, also, a word of advice for everyone. If you do play this game, do not walk into that door straight ahead. Because <laughs> a... Uh, a random security guy around the corner will pop out and will harass you, probably molest you, and you get the game over. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> Not a very pleasant experience. So if, you, if you stay within the vicinity here, you're you're fine. <laughs> that that's what I've learned. <laughs> uh oh, he looks angry. Oh, now he's calm. What? Hey, what are you doing? You're letting us in? I don't get it. When I first saw you doing that, I thought it was like the exit to the facility and they were kicking you out or something. Oh, no. Now we basically just sit back and enjoy and watch the rest. So, we've basically beaten the game. Yep. What does it take us back to the title screen once it's done? Yeah. Metallica's studio. I mean, come on now. Really? <laughs> true. True. And that was like in the early 90s that he, that he uh, was doing that too.
I'm totally gonna get a copyright strike for this video, by the way. <laughs> a copyright strike? <laughs> Why are they gonna strike the copyright? Uh, it's copyright and musing, blah blah blah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna monetize this one. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to get away with that. Look at that crowd, man. Crazy. What else can we throw out to these people? Throw hide! <laughs> Let's all jump on each other. Alright. You have...
uh, 87 or 88 or 89, mm -hmm. something like that. And those are the pictures that we took. Oh, these are the pictures we took. Look at that. Like yeah, I think you'd, you had really had to be a, a big fan of the band to really enjoy this game. I think I'm I'm just sitting here thinking, why would I ever go back to play it again? I'm trying to think of a reason, and I can't think of anything. I have no desire to sit down and try to play it myself. You know. But you, on the other hand, I know you're a big fan of the band, and oh. it, it probably has a different meaning to you. Also, I guess being more, I guess, a little more of a musician also. It yeah. has a different connect. I do like the fact that they have, uh, you know, there's that variety in terms of, you know, depending mm -hmm. on what pictures you take, they'll appear at the ending. That's kind of cool. And that video you edit together. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Interesting concept. I don't really think you have seen since. I don't, I don't really know how many other types of games like these are actually in existence. That's true. I mean, this is definitely... A, sort of a unique sort of thing and uh like how many bands out there have a video game based off of them yeah you know like look at that sega saturn balloon like backstage interaction yeah you know real time trying to get that realistic pure environment you know you, you can't you, you, you know, this is no games that have been out that you can do that in or like in the early 90s but yeah, games like Sewer Shark, there's this bad, <laughs> and that was for Sega CD. But what year did that come out in? Which one? Uh, Sewer Shark. Oh, that was a launch game for Sega CD. That was like uh, 92, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Sewer Shark is kind of a bad game. I mean, once you actually try to beat the game, it becomes very frustrating, but... It starts off really well, though, I think. It's got, like, a purposeful kind of cheese to it. Like, the actors aren't obvious. They're obviously not meant to be taken seriously. And they know that in their roles, and they're acting it. And it's so cool. Like, in the intro, I love the intro to Sewer Shark. Oh, it's just... He's like, We're in the sewers, Bob! And the music goes, dun 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 And, like, he goes... <laughs> it's just like the sounds are so like over the top and uh it's awesome but uh so there you have it guys uh x japan's virtual shock for the sega saturn again this is a uh, japanese exclusive i don't think it came out in uh, europe it definitely did not come out in america that's for sure um and it's definitely not a game i've really researched that much though i just knowing you uh, as a fan of the band you know, I recommended you check it out, and, and you did, and here, here we are now. But, uh, you know, I never would have, if you didn't actually know the band, or if you weren't a fan of the band, I never would have bothered to even look into this, to be honest. I just... Well, I know you told me this uh, a few years back. Um, was, I guess I uh, never got around to it. <laughs> and, 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 until, like, one day, I was like, oh, wait, you know, you're talking about some time ago about an you know, extra pan game or I was like oh, that'd be, be kind of cool so uh well yeah I guess we can uh, go ahead and wrap this up uh this is actually the first let's play I've done in probably about a month now you know I've been trying to take it easy um I'm still gonna be taking it easy guys just to let you know but I, I did want to give you a heads up that I will be doing a blind let's play on two Super Nintendo games. Um, one is a compilation of homebrew games. It's got like four games on it. I, I don't remember who published it, but it was published recently by one of those homebrew websites. Uh, but then I also have a Let's Play uh, of Nightmare Busters for the Super Nintendo, which was, I believe, a game that was originally made in the 90s, but canceled, and then it was rediscovered, and Super Fighter Team, I guess, finished it up and released it. Uh, so a local buddy of mine actually loaned me those cartridges, so I will be doing some blind Let's Plays on those. Uh, watch out for those in the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's all that's on my plate right now in terms of Let's Plays. I do intend on 
getting those cards back to my buddy, and I definitely want to do some Let's Plays on them before uh, I do so. So definitely watch out for that. Uh, Brandon, thanks for uh, doing this video. Thanks for taking us through X Japan yeah, Virtual yeah. Shock. Uh, I, I don't really think there's really anything even like this on YouTube at the moment in terms of like a Let's Play with commentary on this game. I mean, this is definitely. Uh, I'm sure most of my subscribers <laughs> as well, much like myself, even have no idea or had no idea what this game was up until this point. I mean, um, I, I think this might be an. Uh, an eye opener for a lot of people, but then again, who knows? Maybe a lot of people knew about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I just like this part right here. Like you got this white dude speaking, obviously English, and it, it's it's just kind of weird. Like I feel like I don't know. This game is definitely interesting. I'll just leave it at that. It's definitely interesting. So, uh, but with that, guys, I guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Are there any final thoughts, Brandon? Before I wrap this up completely, no. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Well, as usual, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, definitely uh, feel free to subscribe. I've got more videos on the way. And, uh, yeah, until next time, take care.